Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are blending up a pretty pink jar of strawberry kiwi conditioning hair treatment. So fundamentally, this is a really rich hair conditioner. It stars strawberry hydrosol and kiwi seed oil, and then we have conditioning goodness coming from BTMS 50, from cationic guar gum, and from polyquaternium 7. I've called this a conditioning hair treatment because my hair is not super tolerant of really rich things. So what I do when I'm using this treatment is I massage it into hair, wet or dry. It feels like it spreads better with wet hair, but I've done it with dry and it also works just fine. So do whatever you want. And I usually do it from about ears down and then I'll kind of pin it up and you know, like work out, watch a movie, whatever. And then I will shampoo it out afterwards. And I find that it you know leaves my hair feeling softer and more manageable and just really lovely. If your hair is more tolerant of oils than mine, you might find that you can use this differently. If you have quite dry hair, this could be a great mask. It could be the sort of thing that you work into your hair and then you just need to rinse out. There is a bit of cocomitopropyl betaine in here to assist with rinse out, so that might work really beautifully for you. Or you might even find it works really well as a leave-in hair conditioner. For reference, my hair is about a 1B on the Andre Walker extended hair type classification system. So yeah, it, it tends to be quite straight and not very tolerant of oils and doesn't need a ton of conditioning. But kind of the beautiful thing about making your own products is that you can really start to understand that a lot of demarcations between different product types is more marketing than formulation differences. So while this makes a great kind of wash out hair treatment for me, it might make an amazing mask or leave in hair conditioner or rinse out hair conditioner for you. Because this is an emulsion, it's really easy to make. We heat our heated water phase and our heated oil phase separately, blend them together. And then once that's cool, we add the cool down ingredients. And that is really it. If you have made a lotion before, you can definitely make this. As always, if you are looking for information on substitutions, on scaling, shelf life, uh, looking for links to places to buy all the ingredients, I always put all of that information and so much more in the partner blog post, which is always linked in the description box below the video, or just go to humblebeeandme.com and search for the name of this formulation. It will come out the same day as this video. But I think that is enough chat. Let's go get our hair all kinds of conditioned and glorious. We'll begin by combining the ingredients for a heated water phase in a small beaker. So in this beaker, I already have 31.69 grams of distilled water. And the first thing we're going to do is add our dye. So this is FDNC Red 40, and it's very, very, very potent. And so according to the formulation, we need 0.01 grams of it. Um, that would be very difficult to weigh out because it's a very small number. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna get a little bit of the dye on this stirring rod. You can see there's just a little bit there and we'll stir that in here. And in the finished product, that'll come across as just a soft pink tint. Up next, we've got 30 grams of strawberry distillate, five grams vegetable glycerin, two grams cocomitopropyl betaine, and half a gram of panthenol or vitamin B5. If your panthenol is liquid, please make sure you are looking up panthenol in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia to learn how to use that instead. Up next, we have the ingredients for our heated oil phase. So you're going to need six and a half grams of BTMS 50, four grams subtle alcohol, 12 grams kiwi seed oil, and make sure you are reading the partner blog post if you need substitutions and 0.2 grams cationic guar gum. And we are adding this to the oil phase because it won't clump in the oil phase. It'll really disperse nicely. And then once we combine the two phases, it'll combine just really nicely without any clumping. Before we heat everything through, I'm going to weigh the water phase and note that weight, making sure to note that it also includes the spatula. And this will allow us to replace any water lost to evaporation during heating. To heat everything through, I'm going to use a water bath. So this is a wide flat bottom saute pan with about an inch or three centimeters of water in it. And I'm going to go put this on the stovetop over medium heat for about half an hour to melt everything through and bring both phases to the same temperature. 
Once everything has heated through and melted, you can remove your water bath from the heat. We're gonna pull out the water phase, dry that off quickly, and then pop it back on the scale and use a bit of preheated distilled water to get that number back up where it was before and pour it into our oil phase. We're gonna grab our immersion blender and start blending. This is starting to gain viscosity noticeably already. It is great, not surprising with uh, some of that cationic guar gum in there. And then I find that VTMS tends to kind of cool and thicken pretty quickly. So after about two, two and a half minutes, I'm just gonna scrape down our immersion blender and scrape down the sides. All right, so this is starting to thicken up nicely. I'm just gonna set this aside to cool for a few minutes and while it does that, uh, we're gonna weigh out our cool down phase. So there are five ingredients in our cool down phase and we're going to weigh them all into this small dish using a nice precise scale. So we'll begin with 0.3 grams of Alantoin, four grams hydrolyzed quinoa protein. This is from Essential Wholesale and this was a gift. Three grams polyquaternium seven, 0.3 grams vitamin E. This is MT50 tocopherols. If you'd like to learn more about this, make sure you look up tocopherol in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia at humblebeeandme.com and 0.5 grams liquid germal plus. This is thickening up really nicely, starting to cool down. It is looking a little bit lumpy as it thickens kind of unevenly. So we're gonna grab our immersion blender and smooth that out. So this is looking absolutely lovely, nice and rich and thick and creamy. It's still a little bit warmer than I'd like to incorporate our cool down phase. I'm just gonna leave this to you know, continue to get colder and then we will incorporate our cool down phase. All right, it's been about 20 minutes and this has cooled down nicely. So we're going to begin by popping a dollop of it in this dish that contains the cool down phase that we weighed out earlier. And then I'm gonna grab a little wire whisk here and kind of start by cutting it in a little bit because you can kind of see if we start really whisking now, we're gonna make a bit of a splashy mess. So I'm gonna cut that in almost like you're making biscuits and then slowly start whisking until uh, uniform. And once this is uniform, we are going to pour it into the parent batch and then stir to combine. And with that done, all that's left is packaging. So for packaging, I'm going to use this little clear 100 milliliter glass jar from Yellow Bee. This was a gift. Uh, you don't want to be putting this in a pump top container. You can see it's just, it's really thick and it will not fare well in a pump. As it starts to fill up, I like to take the jar and just wrap it on the meaty part of my hand to knock out kind of the air bubbles that tend to kind of happen when you're using, uh, when you've got a really, really thick product. So this jar does come with a little plastic kind of insert here. I'm not crazy about these things. I usually end up throwing them away sooner rather than later, or I should say recycling them. Um, but yeah, it does come with the jar and that that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to label the uh, hair treatment now. So I designed these and then had them printed um, at Sticker Mule. I'll throw my refer friend link in the description box below this video. And there you go. So we just made a rich, thick and creamy strawberry kiwi conditioning hair treatment. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post. You'll find links to places to buy all the ingredients there, information on substitutions, scaling and discussions of different ways that you can use this product. 
But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.